Hello. Okay, we are streaming. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so you will be the host hello hello everyone okay so oh, okay so go to you mm -hmm. jj mm. Oh, okay yeah thanks for coming after your talk and i will share some slides oh Oh, it's just a little bit late. Okay. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yes. Uh, hold, hold it, uh, yeah. Only I can see. Okay. Uh, I'm GJ Kim, an activist of Bati Co-op in Korea and also co-organizer of FTO. And I will be a moderator of this talk and invite three guest speakers. So please welcome them. So would you like to introduce yourself briefly now? now so Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So hi, I'm now. Thank you very much for the introduction, DJ. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Hello. Uh, hello, this is KY from Gap Zero. My hashtag is community Sarah and um, Gap Zero Summit 2020. So oh. our cover paper is coming now. So please join us in the end of the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. And so. I'm Seul Kim, and I'm a software developer working on a media company, and I'm also co-organizer of Earth, which is Korean syndicating community. Mm, okay, yeah, thank you for all. And while you guys watching us on YouTube streaming, please enter slido.com and put FTO523 and leave any questions. So there are no stupid or weird questions, so feel free to leave, then I will ask the questions to speakers. Okay, thank you. And our talk will take around 30 minutes, and the talk will about introduction of guest speaker yeah, we've done, and what's FTO, and all the questions from me and also you. you, you. So before we have a conversation, I want to introduce what is FTO. Um, FTO is an international civic hacking community. People mainly from East Asia, East Asian countries like uh, Korea, Taiwan, Japan, and Hong Kong. So, but we are sorry for not having a guest from Hong Kong today. Um, FTO is an a, a certain words of facing the ocean. So four countries are literally facing the Pacific Ocean. Also, that means we are physically close and share similar values, social issues, and histories. Okay, then how did we start? So I, uh, this idea came from two years ago. So when Isabel, Tsehao, Yutin, and PM5, and uh, also other Taiwan friends uh, came to Korea, to attend open government partnership. So after all the official events and Ohyun, Sil and me uh, and Taiwan friends had dinner and coffee and also we had lots of conversations. And I think Sil uh, brought up a uh, ridiculous project led by uh, the Korean government and how the national budget was wasted uh, tremendously. Yeah, you can see the slides here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, maybe to how uh, also brought up some similar huge budget projects which are about to be wasted. And then and after we are uh, sharing that, uh, we made a joke like, oh, huh, then maybe we might hold an event on stupid government awards. Yeah, so, and then 
after our meetup, uh, Woo Hyun from Bati uh, Co-op uh, suggested that what about building up an international community to share each country's issues and collaborate uh, collaborate because we had uh, uh, we share some similar value and history and also uh, experience or something similar so I uh, so he he thought we can solve national or uh, global problems together then we co-created FTO uh, but by the way now do you know how Code for Japan joined FTO Yes, uh, actually, uh, Chihao from Code of uh, Gov Zero uh, asked Haru, uh, he's the founder of Code for Japan, mm -hmm. if there is a, a good venue in Ogawa. So Haru uh, posted a Facebook post and asking if there is, there is any help we can get to find a venue in Okinawa. Uh, mm -hmm. That's how actually uh, the people on the right side, the mm -hmm. My, our friends uh, in Okinawa uh, contacted Haru, so we were able to host our first uh, Facing the Ocean uh, events in Okinawa. Uh, oh, okay, okay. This was, I feel like I found the missing puzzle. Thank you. Uh, okay, so for the uh, first meet and hack, we had monthly meeting, or just lots of meetings, uh, and each of the organizers' contributions uh, just they contribute their time and uh, energy. So FTO community began in Okinawa, Japan in June 2019. And Okinawa was chosen because the geographically located in the middle of Korea, Taiwan, Japan and Hong Kong. And also the uh, uh, Okinawa is the symbol of peace and war in the modern history. So yeah, and we had a second uh, meet and hack in Tain, uh, Taiwan last December. So in Okinawa, around 40 participants uh, work on a variety of topics uh, and had a civic hacking. And, there's, and the in Taiwan, uh, there are 80 people for the, uh, participated. But unfortunately, we had to postpone the third meet and hack in Jeju. Uh, it supposed to be happen this month, but we never uh, lose contact with each other. So we had online FTO anywhere, such as uh, yeah, first online FTO anywhere about the public health. So we share uh, how each country respond to COVID or so today. Also, uh, we meet today. Mm. Uh, me, yeah, as well. So yeah, this was the uh, brief introduction of uh, what we've done in 2019. Uh, and then now we will... Okay, I will stop the slides. And then now we will have a talk with guest speakers. Okay, this questions for um, everyone. And how did you know about the FTO and why uh, you decided to join FTO? Anyone? Yeah, and feel free to. <laughs> <laughs> say. Okay, may I start or mm -hmm. um, decide you want to go first? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you go first. <laughs> Those work for me. Uh, okay. Hmm. okay, I can go. So, mm -hmm. how did I found uh, FTO? So, Haru, the, code of, the founder of the Code of Japan, asked me if I want to join this uh, network uh, of the Asian civic hackers. And then I was taking a lead uh, of the global relationship in Code for Japan. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to uh, meet uh, friends in Asia. So I just said, yes, uh, that's how I decided to join. And then also Code for Japan organized an annual uh, gathering event, uh, Code for Japan Summit. Mm -hmm. And then 
last two years, uh, we, uh, our friends from um, Taiwan uh, and Gap Zero uh, came to join our summit. So we already know each other uh, to some extent. So yeah. Uh, I wanted to meet friends uh, from Taiwan, and I also I want to meet a new friend. So that's why I um decided to join this community. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Lisa? Okay. Yeah. Uh, for me, uh, mm -hmm. actually, I didn't like uh i didn't like now sound operating the 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 whole events i just uh, saw that saw this kind of event on on the slack of of Gap zero so uh because i speak in japanese and i speak in english and yeah. i went to uh the code for japan summit uh mm. two years ago and last mm. year so so i think okay maybe i can help a bit like uh, communicate with each other and maybe we can meet some people from uh, Okinawa and maybe we can solve some problem there so I think oh okay I should I can help so I think maybe I should join this one mm -hmm. Both want to be a bridge between Japan Taiwan or just cross borders yeah like a bridge of like mm -hmm. everyone <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what about Sir? Sir, you were there, the historical moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, hard to say how I joined because I was on the start. Anyway, anyway uh, after a lot of talks, I realized that uh, many East Asian countries have very similar problems. Mm. And I think we can help each other and we can refer to each other mm. and we we have a, a language that very different from europe east european based languages mm. so we have a very similar problem in many technical technical issues mm. so i think we can do better on if we collaborate yeah mm. Mm -hmm. and sadly i couldn't be there to both um last hackathon but i was organizing for somehow yeah how, <laughs> because, yeah and how how was it like what was the um, either positively or negatively memorable what uh, how was the last two hackathon meet and hack can i answer it first <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh. Honestly, I remember more food than the project. <laughs> it's for uh, Taina. Uh -oh. uh, and, and I was very funny at karaoke <laughs> in <laughs> Okinawa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, that it sounds uh, something different from like a. Um, uh, typical or traditional hackathon I heard I never uh, attend um, just regular hackathon but they have to um, stay uh, late night and figure out some problems so. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems that Miren has some entertainment plus project plus yeah, community <laughs> hmm. yeah uh, what about now how was it yeah as you mentioned yeah um it's different from a uh, usual uh, uh hackathon mm. and then yeah it's it's more casual and it's more about you know meeting a new friends and get know getting to know each other mm. and if i compare to other international conferences uh, i also attend um, uh, conferences uh, about slick tech uh, in other countries and as SL mentioned, uh, I when I join those conferences, I feel uh, each country has different um, issues or agenda. But at the same time, I felt uh, Asian uh, has a similar uh, programs or similar motivation. So I was wondering if, if we are able to come together uh, and think about how 
how we could work together. And then I just realized uh, FTO would be the one uh, we are able to come together and uh, and discuss about uh, what's happening in each countries. And then we were able to, how can I say, um, more able to care each other more uh, mm-hmm. than uh, through the uh, communication in the FTO. I think without FDO, we are not. A, I, me personally, I would never uh, learn about what was happening in Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the first time, we organized this event in Okinawa. It was the very beginning of the Hong Kongese uh, uh, the protest in Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. So, one of the topic was about it about the protest. So I was able to learn it. But without it, I don't think I would never. Uh, learn about this. So I just thought it's a really good opportunity. What's happening uh, in Asia? Right, and I remember after the first hackathon, we had some uh, several translation project, or co project uh, to spread uh, what is actually happening in Hong Kong. So uh, we translate uh, each other's languages, and yeah. I remember that. Hmm. And yeah, what about my turn? I think I, I like uh, FTO the most is yes. uh, usually you go to like maybe you go to other summit or you go to other conference. It's more like okay, you're just watching others uh, presenting what they have done, but you didn't really like work work there or you didn't really uh, work together so FTO provide a very like fascinating chances for people to not just uh, not just like talking about their project how how, how fascinating their, their project is it's more like okay that's let's work together and and this is my idea so who want to join us and I remember when we went to Okinawa there's mm-hmm. several people from Okinawa local and they really bring their problem here and and then you just collaborate with people from other countries and work together and finally it turns out uh, we have some prototype there so i think this is really great to like travel around and see what's going on there and maybe we can bring this solution to other countries i think that would be like fantastic Mm -hmm. okay yeah uh, yeah, I heard also uh, uh, there's some Okinawa residents uh, brought their issues and uh, yeah, shared the story. And then um, Thai, the hackathon, the last uh, December in Taiwan, that one is uh, bigger than the Okinawa one. So how uh, things going, I wonder how things are going well, because it was the joint hackathon with the uh, Cup Zero plus FTO. So I wonder what was the difference from Okinawa? Uh, I think everything different. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very different. Um, uh, because I think because the the one in China is combined with the uh, Cup Zero Hackathon and there's three days uh, for it, so so it might be a very and and the venue is very different. So <laughs> lots of people. So uh, I think uh, not maybe it's not um, not so many people from local <laughs> that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in uh in the Thailand one, but I think maybe this uh, next time we will keep like calling people for uh, for proposal. <laughs> yeah. Then after two hackathon in Japan and Taiwan, do you think um, local people or either Japanese or Taiwanese uh, got to got interested in FTO more or um, any impact? Impact. I think mm-hmm. several uh, mm-hmm. several projects still going on. Mm-hmm. Like for example, like uh, her story. I heard that every week or every every month they have some um, some progressing and and I remember last time when um, a Korean member um, 
present their project and which one is very impressive so so we can do something like that and and i think the most impact um is the the during the covid 19 like people meet each other because this kind of event then during the this kind of crisis happened then we can we can just very quickly <laughs> organize an online conference and mm-hmm. and share what we have done and and help with each other like i know Kian from uh, Gapsir community he made the uh, um like a map for korean uh, community and mm-hmm. and some lots of um like the participator they they help japan's COVID 19 website to translate it into uh, chinese so I, i'm wondering so i think it's uh, like a chance to to connect to everyone and we mm-hmm. they, they, they us believe that we can um do a same project together even even with like language barrier or something <laughs> Not just uh, in your country or in your local places. Yeah. Oh, and is there any other cases uh, after hackathon um, soon or now? Do you have any like a collaborative project or um, anything happen after meet and hack? Me? Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, actually. Yes. Yeah, so. Now, ah, mm-hmm. can I? Uh, mm-hmm. I would like to mention about the SL uh, project. Uh, mm-hmm. As uh, Lisa mentioned, uh, Heart Story is the, one of the projects that started from uh, facing the ocean, and then SL took care of the uh, the how can I how can I call it the interface of the uh, the database of the stories uh, in. Ages, uh, so I was just wondering if, uh, how do you, is there anything you wanna say uh, about the project itself? So, uh, I was just curious how was the project was. Mm, you are asking to sell, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think it, this is a typical example good to work together mm-hmm. yeah. uh, can you ask again <laughs> yeah of course i was just it was uh, like a big one of the big collaboration uh like it our members uh, in, from each country uh collected the all the information and then yeah. we created the space seed and then yeah. so you made it more attractive just instead of like seeing the list of the uh, stories in asia instead of doing that you created beautiful uh interface so i just wondering how was the experience around that yeah yeah very very impressive and it was i remember proposed by L at first of the the firm mm-hmm. and we archive many moments of human women's human rights and mm-hmm. I realize I'm still surprised that there are many similar things in happen in each country. Yeah, I'm very impressed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh maybe if you have a chance, then you can share the slides while we talk about how you visualize the project. Hmm. Okay. And you, yeah. You mean hmm. share screen? Oh yeah, sure. If if you can. Yeah, I'm just curious how you uh made it differently. Hmm. Oh. Now disconnected. He's here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um. The why are we waiting for uh to show some screen? Uh. Someone left yeah. the questions. Like, is FTO about cats or dogs? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't follow the questions. <laughs> is, is it means do we have cats or dogs when we had FTO? 
Any dogs? Cats and any, dogs? Oh, any animals involved? I can understand that that, that, that question. Pardon? I can understand that question. Mm -hmm. I think we better skip it. <laughs> <laughs> Cats and dogs? <laughs> oh. And can you see my screen? Mm. Yeah, I can see it all. Uh, this is a screen of first three of mm -hmm. each, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can see language, see in language you want, if it has translation. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's all. And we are working on to new design. Oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you for sharing. And then, oh, and someone left uh, to you, guy, to you. Uh, what is the source of energy to keep going your project? Mm, maybe because uh, this project or FTO's community is not, uh, uh, it's not your uh, job, it's side project, I guess. Well, maybe after work you might feel tired and you don't want to do, do anything. Then, but what was the um, motivation you uh, work together with others? I think uh, the most uh, is people, like people who work with you. Like even sometimes you feel so tired. I want. I just you just left your work and feel so tired. You don't want to do any any anything more. But you saw your friends and your community is still working on this. We're like, okay, I'll help with that. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the most uh, motivation for me. Uh, you see, so many good people are still working on this kind of stuff, and you want to help. Yeah, that's my personally and of course uh, uh, about the issues that uh, like your project the, the issue your project is solving may be very important for you sometimes mm -hmm. yeah so that's my personal <laughs> mm -hmm. now about myself yeah what about self <laughs> yeah I'm pretty motivated by wonderful people of course first source of my energy is uh angry <laughs> to the government <laughs> but, but, yeah i also really motivated by wonderful people from this section i think these people are really, the really, uh, best people in the, book, in the world <laughs> oh yeah yeah that's it <laughs> mm. anger and 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 good people with you well what about now oh uh, yeah for me i just want to make a friend uh mm. all over the world <laughs> and you know i was able to meet gj and sl uh when i visited you in korea uh, it was uh, amazing. They introduced introduced me how to uh, eat barbecue and how to drink the local <laughs> alcohol. It was really fun time. But not only about that. But, uh, as uh, we have mentioned earlier, uh, when something happened, as mm -hmm. we are facing the uh, corona situation, mm -hmm. uh, we already have the relationship uh personal relationships. So we it's got so much easier to ask how people are doing in each other countries. Mm -hmm. And then if already our projects are going in other countries, we are able to learn from the project and we can also even talk to the project owners uh, in each countries. Mm -hmm. If the mask uh, visualization projects are going in Taiwan, 
uh, we are able to meet the engineers or the project owners so we can learn from them and then if the solution could be used in other countries uh we are still uh, able to collaborate so i think that's a uh, amazing uh one of the amazing outcome from this project uh in network i think mm -hmm. i i want to add, add one point is the source of energy usually like if you are doing the, the best part of FTO is uh, you play and you travel and you drink, <laughs> you dance and, and you work <laughs> on your project. It's more like because when you're doing, uh, when I was doing some like social movement, maybe you feel so angry and you want to have some change immediately and mm -hmm. government should listen to us now. So, mm -hmm. so that would be very like pressure and you can't last very long. It's more like or maybe two months or three months and you will be very very sad and <laughs> sometimes you you just feel the very negative emotions but uh for like in gov zero community or in uh fto events it's more like okay let's have fun and let's do this together and and we try to keep this kind of um things more more it's just like your hobby you go to you go to gym you mm. go to you play basketball every weekend so maybe this kind of civic tech event and social movement can become another kinds of uh your hop kinds of hobby of people you just standing together and do something good and you you, you uh, know some new people and and you feel very happy and and you want to keep going on so you can last very long like maybe you can do it for three, four years and without any pay. <laughs> yeah, because it's fun and meaningful. I think this is a very mm -hmm. important part of to keep the community like this. So FTO is uh, one of the best part of it <laughs> because it combines, uh, you can meet people from different countries and you can travel around uh, and can, you can feel the, the the like cultural in that place so I think FTO is a fantastic idea thanks everyone <laughs> <laughs> well wonderful that's very uh, touching and also yeah I think we are both uh, we can be a co-worker and sometimes we can be a friend or just kind of like a family uh, member and we are just it's, it sounds really we are everything to each other yeah thanks for sharing and maybe that this will be last two question maybe the one question is for uh especially so and another question is just for uh everyone and then we will have a final notice about uh, what will happen um, this this year uh, one is just what was your favorite food last year in Tainan and also the, the final question is about like, uh, what do you hope to do in FTO 2020 this year yeah the, yeah the second question is for everyone I mean the food mm, I maybe food part to maybe aim to soon pudding is the best firstly <laughs> yeah food, 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 food. <laughs> It's really great, and uh, my favorite is beef soup. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you can have this December. Yeah, come again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm. The food. Uh, do you remember the soup from Tainan? The sour. Sour. A uh, little bit. So what? You mean a dinner? No, the for the one for the lunch. Lunch. It was ah, in the, ah, the one I. <laughs> the noodle. The noodle. I really liked it. I. What is that called, Lisa? Don't you think it's too sweet? A bit. <laughs> I killed by China. It was like interesting taste. I really liked it. Fantastic. Hmm. I hope we can uh, taste the food again in this uh, December when uh, Gabu Zero Summit uh, will be held. And also, what do you hope to do 
with FTO this year. You mean in Tainan? In Tainan or in Jeju. Ah, I heard Jeju. In Jeju before Tainan. If there will be a Jeju one, mm -hmm. I really hope there will be like people from Jeju to bring their problem there. So, mm -hmm. so maybe we can collaborate together to, to maybe make some prototype or something. It's personal. Which is also for the Thailand. <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, trying our best. <laughs> Me too. Now, what about yeah. now, Prince? Yeah, I also feel that that I cannot see with you in offline. So mm -hmm. I hope uh, this situation gets better, and I really want to hope uh, invite you in Jeju, and I want to go Taiwan didn't this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, traveling is the best part. It's a good excuse to, you know, take some break <laughs> from the real life. So I be, I use FTO as an excuse to take a break. But <laughs> yeah, for this year, I think uh, it would be great if we could have more um, collaboration in more professional field, I think. Uh, I think each country they have their own expertise. Like Gov Zero, uh, you have uh, experience in like organizing um, uh, hackathon uh, like Joson, and and also you have uh, and then I feel like in Korea you have like your own situation and your technology and and I really like the design the code for design of the code for Korea. So I think each country have different professionality. So <laughs> it would be great if we can share and it could be a more deeper collaboration and then share about the, um, how can I say, uh, experience in each other country. I think it could bring uh, uh, more, how can I say, deeper collaboration or uh, more impact uh, to each community. So that's what I am looking for uh, as a next step. Right. Yeah, hopefully we can meet in Jeju before the Tainan. And yeah, yeah, thanks for joining uh, our, our talk, everyone. And hope we can see you in person very soon. And and if you want, if anyone interested in joining FTO, then please find um, INTL uh, channel on Gov Zero Slack, and then find us. Then we will uh, bring you to our Telegram group chat, and then we can continue to uh, have our conversation. Okay, thank you for everyone, and thanks for uh, having uh, coming to us. Uh, all our guests now, Lisa and Sue. Thanks, everyone. Bye bye.